Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. And today we're going to take a look at Hot Rod Junior Moon from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review, let me dis let let's start let me discuss something. So a Hot Rod Junior Moon, this version was released last year in 2021 as one of the 2021 singles and and I got and I got this one from a Walmart store along with singles from 2022 such as Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen Kurt with Bug Teeth Ralph Carlo aka Cars 1 Ralph Carlo Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen and Liability. But those five singles will be revealed will have to be another story. So about the 2021 cars, the cars diecasts of the past are scattered everywhere around the on the globe. I'm pretty sure they are. I mean, as far as I know, they're could be seen at flea markets like Treasure Isles and Trader's World and thrift stores and online stores like eBay for example. So now, and now on the packaging we've got his artwork and the metal logo and the old cars logo and his artwork and it says, and the title of it says Hot Rod Junior Moon Junior Moon Super Ball Eyed. And on the back we've got the Cars 3 logo. And we've got the some of the characters from Cars 3. We got Smokey, Jackson Storm, Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, Bumper Save I mean Rusty's Cruiser Miras, I meant. Bumper Save Tractor, Sheldon Shifter, Airborne, Pushover, and HJ Hollis. And in the background, we've got the Los Angeles International Speedway background. We've got the Mattel logo and the Arsene Network. And it says 2020 Mattel. So now, let's start unboxing him. So anyhow, you know, during the ending credits of Cars 3, yeah, he was seen in a photograph uh, repainted in flames from Ramon along with the two more racing legends, Junior River Louise Nash and River Scott, who I unfortunately don't have. And And he was the and junior and hit in Cars Three German to win his he the only version of Junior Moon that was unlocked or downloaded as a playable character was it was his heyday version the one with the number white number eleven and his name tag and the white wall tires. And although, and although Junior, Louise, and River were released as hot rods with flames, the only car that weren't repainted with flames by Ramon was Smokey. I mean, I don't know why they released Hot Rod Smokey to begin with. And now, without any further ado, Let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his his headlights and his 
chrome silver gray grill and bumper and although his mouth could be invisible I'm pretty sure we've got the silver lining on the hood and on the sides we've got the black rims on the black wall tires and the gray flames in his door and on the trunk we've got and on the back we've got the the red tail lights and the chrome gray bumper and the there's a bit of lice in the license plate saying Junior Moon in his back windows that are splitted. And on the right side, similar design but completely different. Oh, and I forgot the exhaust pipe. And underneath, it says, on the undercarriage, it says DXV77, made in Thailand, Disney Pixar. And that is it. Now... Let's pull up some of the other cars with the flames. We've got Wingo, Cars 3, Lightning McQueen, Ramon, and Willie, the 1942 Willie's Coupe Hot Rod, one of my car's OCs. The other Thomasville inhabitants, we got Smokey and Sweet Tea, and the other four vehicles like Lizzie, who is a 1923 model T Coupe, Van, who is a 2003 Windstar, Duff Rex, who is, I'm going to suggest, a 2000 Ranger, Brent Mustang Burger, who is a 1964.5 Mustang, Mario Andretti, who is a 1967 Fairlane. And finally, Travis, the, who is in a 10th generation F-150, one of my cars OCs. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which hmm. Thomasville legend is your, Thomasville inhabitant is your favorite? Which car with flames is your favorite, and which, which Ford vehicle is your favorite, and which 2022 singles should I review next? Should it be Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, Liability, Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen, Ral Ralph Carlo, or Kurt with the Bug Teeth? Leave your thoughts as well as suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, consider the support by checking out my other videos on my channel. And I'd like to thank my subscribers and public watch hours and viewers for your continued support. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!